Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a day in the life because it's a very exciting day. We are picking up our new car which is so exciting. Um, so at the moment we just drive a little Toyota iGo. We share it, um, like I think it's 2013, it's an old model. Um, and it's the only car, well I own it, it's my car technically, but it's the only car we've ever had. Um, and from September when I'm working and Fraser needs to take Phoebe to nursery, we're going to need two cars and it's just not big enough. So we are picking up our new car today. It is a Mazda CX-30 brand new and we cannot wait. So I thought I would bring you along and share it with you. Phoebe wants to say hi. She's currently commando crawling absolutely everywhere all throughout the house and our house is not baby proof at all. You say hi. <coughs> yeah, hi. So yeah, we're gonna be leaving very shortly to go and pick up our new car. Okay, so it's a little bit later. We have got the car. I'm literally looking at it outside our house right now. Um, I didn't film anything while we were there. Let me take these off actually. I didn't film anything while we were there just because it literally was just like signing documents and stuff. Um, and we were in a bit of a rush because we had a baby class straight afterwards that Fraser came to as well, which was really nice. But we're home now and Phoebe's asleep. Oh gosh, it's so hot even my makeup's running a bit. Let me just show you the car and then um, I'll explain what we need to do this afternoon. So if you can see there is our new car. Um, his name is Monty, Monty the Mazda. We always name our cars. I don't know if that's weird or if that's an everyone thing. Um, but yeah, so sorry, I'm just talking quietly because Phoebe's asleep. What I need to do is sort out these here because that is the base and the car seat. So obviously we already have a base and a car seat in our other car. We need another base and another car seat in this car. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpackage them now. Yeah, I'm going to unpackage them now and then we'll go out and install them. We can, Phoebe's just upstairs, but we can take the baby monitor outside um, so we can go and install them ready because we're going to take it out for a spin this afternoon so Fraser gets a chance to drive as well because he hasn't even had a chance to drive it yet. Um, so yeah, I'm going to unbox those car seats. Okay, so it turns out fitting a car seat is a bitch. Um, the Isofix, we just can't seem to get it in. It seems to be like um, a bit loose. So Fraser's just walked down to the other car um, to check what it's fitting like in that car, just to see if that gives us any hints. Um, so while he's down there, I was just gonna show you a few bits that I got for Monty. So I bought him a little jelly belly, just because I'm not really that keen on the smell of new cars. Um, it gives me a bit of a headache. So this one I thought would go with his aesthetic because he's like obviously like grey and sleek. So this one is birthday cake. Um, and then let me show you. I got this from Dunham. We've never had a baby on board sign before. Um, I know they're a little bit controversial. Some people say that they're good for like if you're in an accident. Some people say they're not good because it makes it obvious to people that there's a baby in your car. But I thought it was cute and I think it could be useful. So we'll keep that in the car. Um, some shades, these were just off Amazon. We have the ones that go over the door um, because they cover the whole window rather than just like a little part of the window. So we find those really useful. Um, and finally, uh, a mirror again, just off Amazon. This is the same one we have in the other car. Um, so you attach it to the headrest so that you can see the baby in the car seat obviously from your rear view mirror. 
So those are the bits that we're also going to put in the car. Okay, so this is the actual car seat. Um, so we have Cybex in the other car, obviously. We have the cloud eye size, which is the kind of small one, the like handheld one. Um, but what we've gone for this time is the Serona, which is basically like the next one up. Um, it's still suitable from birth, but um, this one is suitable, I think it's, it says on the side of the box to four years old, so obviously she can be in this till she's four years old. Um, so it's more of a like, it just stays in the car car seat rather than one that will take in and out kind of thing. So let me just grab it out of the box. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to have to have a look because I believe that there's probably a newborn insert in here that we will need to take out. Um, I think we got it in, I can't remember what the colour is, it's the grey colour. Um, that we got again just thought it would go nicely with the car um so yeah we're just going to figure out what the newborn inserts are and then we will take it out to the car as well okay so we finally got the car seat into the car so we don't need the seat box we have the iso fix um so the base is in and the foot is down and then the car seat is in as well it should now just stay and we don't really need to take it out um we like these ones so it's currently like in a more reclined position um, it sits up straight if you can see like that so it also forward faces so when she's a little bit older she will forward face but obviously not for ages um, and then when it's sitting up right what you can do is rotate it so it's much much easier to get them in and out that's why we really like the Cybex uh, I think there's other brands that do do that as well also sorry if you can hear the wind um, there are other brands that do that as well but we just I, we spotted it here first and we really liked it rather than reaching over um, so that is that done so obviously she'll sit in it like that straight up around and then Good to get her in little buckle let me do it obviously these are loosened at the bottom like our other one so it'll be like this there's a little button that you press to loosen them um so yeah so it's all ready for her um so that's done obviously this is front of our car it looks so clean and tidy not full of crap like our other car is absolutely full of crap which needs sorting um but yeah i need to put the mirror in i need to put the um things to go over the windows and my little jelly belly as well okay so we're finally ready we're gonna head out for a drive um the little baby board baby on board bear is in the car the mirror is ready as well the shades for the windows unfortunately do not fit the windows are too big um so i will have to look at getting some i need to lock the door um look at getting some like just pop-up ones i suppose or something um i mean they are tinted so they might be all right but um so fraser's just gonna get her in the car we'll adjust the mirror to make sure that that's in the right place and then we're going to drive up i'll drive up to a car park so fraser can get a hand on the controls and then we will go from there Okay, so Fraser just went for his first drive and I genuinely think he's actually now driven it further than me because he went all the way around the top. What did you think? Yeah, really good. What it's... was your favourite bit um, compared to the other car? Very smooth. It is very is. smooth. It's... You can't put your finger on it, can you? But it's just no. very, it's a lot smoother. Well, just like going slowly in third, it doesn't feel like you're about to lose it. Yeah. It's just like glides along. Yeah. Um... So yeah, I suppose, I don't know, maybe I'll go for a little bit more of a drive and then we'll head home.